Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top five favorite flowering ornamental trees. These are gonna be trees that are moderate sized, and so not things that are gonna get 60 or 80 feet tall, and not tiny little things uh, either. Uh, and I'm picking this list really based on uh, flowering. And so you won't, um, Japanese maples are great ornamental trees. They're not gonna be in the flowering tree list, though they're not really grown for uh, their flowers at all. Also, there are no crepe myrtles on this list. Crepe myrtles are not very high on my ornamental uh, flowering tree list just because they're everywhere. I know those of you in the north would probably love to have them up there, uh, but down here we're pretty, we're pretty much oversaturated uh, with crepe myrtles, and I, I was partly responsible for that, growing tens of thousands of them over the years. Uh, all five of these uh, things that I do have on this list are quite cold hardy, and so normally my channel being a southern channel, not necessarily in my videos are there uh, all cold hardy things, but this one uh, happens to be. So uh, let's get started on this list. Uh, number five for me is gonna be Japanese Snowbell or Japanese Styrax. I planted a variety called Snow Cone uh, at the old house and you can go back and watch that video on my channel. Great, great uh, ornamental flowering tree, great foliage, even when it's not flowering. This is just a beautiful tree, great shape to it, um, great canopy. Uh, on it or canopy shape uh, to it. Uh, long flowered, uh, most uh, ornamental flowering trees are very short flowered. A lot of them flower a little too early and so they're more susceptible to frost. Um, deciduous magnolias is coming up on this list and that happens to them pretty frequently. Of course, I don't have flowering cherries on this list and they're extremely short flowered. So uh, again, Japanese Styrax. Number four on my list is going to be um, uh, dogwoods. Uh, there are native dogwoods like Cornus, Florida. There's a beautiful variegated one in my neighborhood uh, that I saw last year. So you can you can you can mix up the foliage on them uh, as well. Then there's uh, Coosa dogwoods. Uh, Coosa dogwoods are really really beautiful. My actual favorite dogwood is this uh, Empress of China dogwood. This evergreen dogwood that I have in the front yard here at this house. I had put one in at the old house as well. And you can go back and watch the video on my channel for the one I planted uh, at the old house. Great, great flowering tree. And it has the added benefit of uh, actually keeping its uh, leaves in the uh, winter time. Uh, number three on my list, I just put up four fingers. Number three on my list is deciduous magnolias. There are native magnolias to the Southeast uh, that are evergreen and I've got one growing right here on the other side of this fence. Um, but uh, I, what I'm actually talking about here is the more cold hardy and more showy flowering um, magnolias, which are the deciduous magnolias. Not gonna get uh, specific on varieties here because there's just a ton of varieties and there are some deciduous magnolias that can get gigantic. And so you're gonna wanna pick them uh, based on the size that will fit your yard. Of course, there's star magnolias. And I did a video on a star magnolia uh, at the old house that I put in which are the beautiful white um, star-shaped uh, deciduous magnolias. Super, super fragrant. Uh, J.C. Ralston Arboretum over here has an incredible collection of deciduous magnolias. Super cold hardy, always reliable. Um, you know, and uh, several of them, like Jane, uh, will repeat bloom. You know, you'll get some additional flowers, not just in the spring, but also in the uh, summer and fall as well. Number two on my list is... Uh, and it's kind of interesting on the dogwoods where you have native ones and then you have Asian ones. The same thing on uh, my number two, which is uh, fringe trees. Uh, there's a Chinese fringe tree, probably has the nicest shape, uh, incredible fragrant flowers, uh, just really, really beautiful plants. Unfortunately, you know, when we bring these plants from Asia, we don't bring the pest typically. And so that's probably the reason the Chinese fringe tree outperforms the native fringe tree. Native fringe trees, absolutely beautiful as well. Got one in my neighborhood that's beautiful. The flower, the flower photos that you're look, seeing on it right now uh, had not fully become white yet. Super, super fragrant, great trees, just fantastic ornamental trees, actually kind of underused. Um, and so again, uh, native fringe trees and Chinese fringe trees, absolutely fantastic. Number one on my list, and this won't surprise anyone, are red buds, which are also native to the Southeast. And, Actually, they're red buds that um, are endemic to Texas and Mexico. Uh, lots and lots of different, uh, lots of different areas where red buds are native to. Uh, I have a weeping uh, gold variety in my backyard. I had a forest pansy red bud at the old house. 
uh, lots of work going in on these right now. Uh, Denny Werner uh, lives close to me who has introduced lots of these new Redbud varieties and Flamethrower is the one that everybody's so excited about. Has so many colors on the same plant, but there's gold foliage ones, purple foliage ones, and Flamethrower has several different colors, but Redbuds are definitely my favorite. One of the reasons I really, really love Redbuds is the flowers uh, happen on every part of the plant. So even the oldest, oldest wood on the tree can have flowers. It can have flowers on the stems right from the base all the way out to the, uh, to the almost the ends of the newest branches from the year before. And again, red buds are definitely my favorite. So there's my top five favorite flowering ornamental trees. Let me know down uh, below the description of this video what your favorite flowering trees are. I'd love to hear from you guys. I have a playlist on my channel for uh, magnolias, for flowering trees, for um, all kinds of different things if you want to go on my channel and uh, get more information on individual plants. Thank you guys for following along with my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, bell notification uh, to uh, be alerted when I upload a video. Thanks for watching.